This is Ian McFarlane, and this brief tutorial will walk you through setting up your WordPress account so that you can uh, keep track of what your classmates are posting. Once you've got your WordPress account set up, uh, you can set up your blog so that you see uh, recent posts from all your classmates. Now, there are a couple ways to do this. Uh, one way is to follow your classmates' blogs directly. So to do that, you would go to your WordPress site, remember WordPress.com, uh, and the default page where you start is your reader. Now your reader is sort of a uh, highlighted list of blog posts from blogs that you follow. So if you follow your other classmates' blogs, you'll be able to see their most recent posts uh, here in your reader. Uh, to follow another blogger in WordPress is really easy. Uh, so I'm going to pull up a couple of blogs from uh, previous semesters to give you an idea how this works. So uh, when you pull up another site that is uh, also in WordPress, you'll see in the lower right hand corner here there's a follow button. So to follow the blog you simply click follow, then any new posts will show up automatically in your reader. I can do that again for this other um, blog from a previous semester, and I'll go ahead and follow that one. So now if I go back uh, to my reader page and I reload it, I will have uh, the most recent posts from these blogs. Now these are all from uh, the second blog that we followed um, because that was from spring 2017. If I keep scrolling I will eventually get down to uh, from the first blog uh, post there uh, from the semester before. Once you started to follow uh, other sites in, in WordPress you can always check on which sites you're following here with this manage function. Um, it will show you uh, these two different uh, sites. It will give you a list of all of them. Uh, if you decide you want to stop following uh, any, any of the blogs, you can just click here um, to you no longer follow it. Or if you want to refollow it later, uh, you can, if you make a mistake, you can do it that way. Uh, under settings, you can get email alerts uh, if there are new posts. Uh, or new comments. You can set the frequency with which you want to receive emails. Uh, you can turn the emails for posts on or off uh, at your whim. Uh, so now every time someone from class would post a new blog, as long as I followed them, I'll have a new entry here. Um, I'll be able to click on a blog, uh, a blog post, and actually go through and read uh, everything that that the author posted. I'll be additionally be able to fill out comments so that I could do uh, my refinement posts. Uh, I can do everything that I need to do for the assignment uh, here in, in WordPress itself. So that's one option. If you don't want to follow every blog individually, uh, the other option is to subscribe to the main course blog. So the, the link to the main course blog is on Canvas, uh, and the course blog is going to be set up as a hub. What that means is I'm going to syndicate all your content onto one central location. So anytime anyone in class posts a blog, it'll show up here, uh, although there is a little bit of a lag time, uh, I think about an hour give or take uh, before it shows up here on the main site. But you'll be able to scroll down and see uh, anything that's up. Uh, right now the blog is pretty empty. I've just got kind of a general welcome page. Uh, and uh, But eventually uh, you'll see a lot more here. Uh, if you want to follow the course blog, you can either just bookmark it um, or you can sign up for email updates. Uh, you can put in your email address right over here, hit subscribe, then every day you'll get a summary email that uh, gives you all the new content uh, and lets you look from there. So one disadvantage of following the main course uh, blog is that if any of your classmates choose to set their blogs to private, uh, the syndication won't happen here. So I would encourage you uh, to uh, follow your classmates who have chosen to set their uh, profile to uh, private, uh, and I will note uh, in class which ones are private. I will post on Canvas a, uh, a list of links to everyone's blog site so that you can go through and follow if you like. I'll also note on that list of blog sites uh, which ones are private that you'll have to actually go in and follow individually. 
That's all there is to know about setting up uh, for following your classmates' content. Uh, I look forward to seeing what you write this semester.